And this is Kurt Ifert, and he's from Kurt's Delectable Creations. Today we're here to show you how to make five-minute desserts in their little trifles. And we want to get started to show you how to make your Valentines really happy this year. And uh, making some homemade desserts that you have some ingredients that are right here in your, your kitchen. And if they're not, they're pretty easy to, to get a hold of. Some of the things that I made today that were easy that you can just go to the grocery store and get are um, brownies if you want to get them pre-made or you can get a packaged kind or you can make them homemade. And I have some cookies and I also have made some strawberries dipped in Nutella for the toppings. We have a v wide variety. We have some chocolate that's um, filled with raspberry and we have some coconut, we have almonds, we have blueberries, we have oatmeal cookies and we have uh, bananas. We have all kinds of little tri uh, trifles that we're going to make for you and show you how fast you can do these and they just look great. So Kurt's going to get started and show you right now just how to make a wonderful brownie chocolate Nutella trifle. All right, just a couple of notes for you. This is our first official hangout. We've tried this a couple of times this evening already and epically failed. So if you're laughing right now, it's okay. We understand. One of the things I'm going to try to do is I'm going to switch the camera view from us to what we're doing here on the table. And if you lose us, I apologize, but we're going to make sure that we try to make this work. So I'm going to switch the camera views and we'll get started. So we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have to mute this. Okay, now everybody should be able to hear us and you should be seeing what's going on on the table. Here we have, as, as she stated earlier, we have brownies with chocolate pudding, we have some strawberries with Nutella, we have some crumbled graham crackers and some other things going on over here. Um, just to give you a start, basically we, we coated the particular brownie that we put into this, this, uh, this cup here with some Nutella and then we put some pudding on it. And as you can see here, it's just not super full and that's okay because you don't want to fill it completely. What you want to top that with is your whipped cream. That's what we got going on now. Alright, so basically this one only takes just a moment and then if you want to you can obviously put a cherry on top, you can put a strawberry in there, however you want to do it. The beauty of these little trifle desserts is that you can actually make it however you want to. And what she's going to do now is put a strawberry on top and there you go. You have a finished dessert that only took you three seconds to make and it's beautiful. The next one we're going to do is going to be, we're going to start with crumbled graham crackers in the cup and as you can see we put a little bit in there. There's not much, uh, about a quarter inch actually in the bottom of it. Now you don't have to use these but these always look the best so you can pick these up at most of your pretty much any Walmarts or any places like that. Um, and then you, this one is actually vanilla pudding, okay? This one just happens to be homemade. And you just want to layer this one just a little bit right in here like so. We're going to try to not, again, we don't want to put too much pudding in there because if you want to make a few of them, you can see I'm just swirling it around to kind of level it out a little bit. We're going to top that with coconut, as you can see here. And then we're going to put a little bit more graham crackers on top of that just to kind of garnish it so it looks pretty. All right, and then we're going to put a little more whipped cream on top of that. And a little more coconut. And now that one is pretty much complete, just like so. And we're going to garnish that one with chocolate, with raspberry in the middle. So as you can see, come down a little bit, and there it is. So again, just a few moments of your time and you can see that these things can come out and turn out beautifully. Here's one that we've already got completed. This one here has got bananas in it. All right, and you can see a little graham cracker and again, vanilla pudding. And top it off with a little bit of whipped cream and that just finish it off for your guests. And it's beautiful. All right, so the next one I'm going to have Claudia here. Uh, she's going to do. This one has got butterscotch in it and we've got oatmeal cookies as a base. Yep, and the, oh, you put a little bit of butterscotch pudding in the bottom and you already have your cookies on the bottom so that you, you can start that with your crust. 
And then this one is going to have some almonds, and we're going to put a little bit of almonds, and we're going to put a little bit more vanilla pudding on top of that, and then we're going to layer that with more butterscotch, more almonds, and then we're going to put some of this with cream on top. And again, we're going to top with some more almonds. And again, you have a butterscotch oatmeal, which has cinnamon in it. And that is another little treat that you can give to somebody that is a butterscotch lover. So then we have vanilla wafers. And I'm sure everybody knows what those are, your regular cookies. And we're going to add lemon pudding on top of those cookies. And we're going to layer that with fresh blueberries. Then we're going to put a little bit more pudding. More blueberries. You can see that. We're going to top that off with more whipped cream. And another cookie. Isn't that cute? So I don't think that there's anybody out there that it would have a problem having any one of these little treats. There's so many different types of treats that you can um, make. It doesn't have to be just with pudding. You could actually layer this with lady fingers with some um, uh, stale actual coffee. Put a little bit of that. Put a little bit of rum. Add some cream cheese filling that you can get in the dairy case. And you can make a mock tiramisu with that. So there are many different types of desserts that you can make. Um, we have a, a few more that we had made earlier with um, milk chocolate uh, and, and your, your chocolate-covered strawberries. And if you don't like Nutella, and we have hazelnuts in there. And this also has coffee that's poured over the brownie and a little bit of Kahlua. So again, for those, <laughs> those of you that are chocolate lovers, the Kahlua lover, you can always mix and match your uh, liqueurs as well. So as you can see, we made five minute desserts in less than five minutes and we can actually give everybody something that they'll like. You just have to know what it is. If you're a coconut cream lover, if you're a banana cream lover, if you're a chocolate lover, whatever it is, you can build your trifle. And that's what we're here to, to um, send that message today, that you don't have to be a baker. You don't have to do anything. This is easy. And anybody can do this and make a great, great, happy Valentine's Day dessert. And just in closing with you guys, if you have any questions, we'll get to that in just a moment. Um, but again, anybody can do this. Even your children can do it. It could be a fun little event for them. You know, things like this. So it really, the puddings, you, you can get any of these puddings already pre-made, even in a little snack pack cups if you wish. It only takes moments to create them. Uh, you know, the shredded coconut comes in a bag. You, you can get the almonds already, you know, pre-crushed like that. Uh, blueberries, you can get them at any grocery store. Uh, things like that are super, super easy to come by, and it's very inexpensive, and it goes a long way. Uh, so inexpensive. You going to eat that? I have to try Oh, you got to do it. There it goes. Oh. Mm. You just made everybody jealous. I love it. So, and I wish you were all here to try this. This is delicious. <laughs> well, we don't ship, unfortunately, so if that's one of your questions, I apologize. Um, but no need to do so. It's super easy to do, and uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, let's take a look and see if we can pull up the comments real quick. And if you guys have any questions, uh, we'll go ahead and get to that now. That's where I'm going. Uh, problem is, is I'm not in the events. Give us just a moment and we'll figure this out. Oops. I think I knocked myself out. Well, you know what? We're gonna we'll go back to that and uh, we do apologize because we're so new at this. Next time we'll be better. Uh, and have somebody in the audience that can actually check our um, questions if we have any, but we'll definitely get back to them as soon as we get back to that event page. 
Thank you for coming and joining us tonight. We hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And um, I hope that there's something here that everybody liked. And I'm Claudia, again, from What's Cooking Italian Cuisine. And this is Chris from Delectable uh, Creations. And we hope to see you soon again. Thank you.